Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my native Titan 12 and how I got it rigged for tournament fishing. So stay tuned. All right, guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna be going over my native Titan 12. Um, I got it finally fully rigged out. Uh, for the most part, there's a few odd and end things that I like to do to it, um, and I'll go over it in a video. But, I mean, this is small, minor things that I'll get done this winter for the upcoming tournament season. Um, we, I think we're, me and James was talking about fishing the BASS uh, kayak uh, tournament series. So, just trying to get everything rigged up, ready, and organized. Um, right now, I got it still set up um, for how I fished the event down there uh, on Chickamauga, which that video is coming up here soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but, um, I still got everything rigged up pretty much how I had it with tackle and all that. And so anyways, I'm just going to show you guys, um, how I got my day, my, I mean, my boat rigged, uh, for the day. So let's dig into it. All right. The we'll start up here at the bow of the boat. This is the workhorse right here. The motor guide XI3. I want to thank motor guide first off for helping us out. Um, was, was supporting us with making these mounts for these, these bow mounts and stuff like that for some of these other kayaks. Um, right now we got them for the bona fides. We got them for the, uh, Titan. We got them for the Slayer. Um, still working on a lot of other ones. People keep asking about the 13. We are coming out with that. We already got the 10 out. Um, so just, you know, slowly getting to each boat. This is a lot of boats. Everybody wants a uh, bow mount for each brand. It's just hard to get them right now for us. So, Anyways, we are working on a couple other different brands, um, bow mounts, but getting back to it, this is the workhorse, this is the XI3. I have loved this. The uh, My efficiency on the water is so much better. Uh, I'm constantly, you know, I can stand the whole time and make cast and keep it on a head or a spot lock or whatever. It's just a phenomenal tool. It's a must have. I don't mind a stern mount motor, especially like the last, the one video was talking about the pros and cons. Stern mount's really great in like fast rivers and, and all that, but for standing and being efficient when casting and not having to worry with, you know, steering a motor or anything like that, it's hard to beat a bow mount. So, but I get a lot of questions on how I deploy uh, my motor and I'll get out on the water one day when it's warmer and show you guys exactly how I do it. But uh what i mainly do is i just i crawl up the front and i grab i grab the head of the motor and i reach up here and i grab this and i just slide it forward um i'm gonna slide it and sit it down on my trailer right now but so i can show you guys what's in the front hatch but and i mean that's how i do it i mean it, it's really simple i mean i don't have no rope and string set up and all that but each boat's different i, I get that you know bona fides can be a little different doing it than the titans and the slayers and all that but james he crossed in front of his boat too and, and does it that way but anyways let's kind of get into here this is don't pay no mind this is my extra strap so up on the front i'm gonna take this and slide it all the way over so we can actually see what we got um i always keep a keep a rope this is my long rope here so when i'm uh taking the boat off the trailer I'll just tie it to the front and then hold, you know, either tie it to the truck or something like that and just back it in and let it float off and then go grab it and walk it down. So, but that's what I do. That's why I got that up here. I got a, I got my little green red light. I'm actually going to do something different here. This was like kind of something quick I do to screw it to the front to have my front bow light. Um, the cool thing I like about the Titan front hatch is it's so big. I mean, you put so much stuff up here. Uh, for me, I use it more of an overflow of stuff that I may need on the water, but I'm probably not going to use, you know. But, like, if times get tight and I need a plan EF and, you know, all that. So, uh, I'll go I'll go up here and start digging around. But, also, I got some of my jigs. I got two boxes of jigs here. Uh, finesse and then my other jigs. I got some finesse worms in there. Uh, when I was fishing chicken mog, I kept them up there just in case. I still never even threw them, but kept them for just in case got a bunch of missile baits and robo worms and ketex well some other custom little colors there and, um like i say just just odd and end stuff some extra line to tie on uh, another leader i also keep uh my pan optics box up here 
and I have my switch right here to cut it on if I need it. Um, but I keep this up here, just kind of keep it out the way. It keeps it dry. Um, just a just an easy place to keep it. So and then, like I say, if I want to cut it on, if I want to use it for practice or whatever, because that's mainly what I use my pan optics for is practice. I'll come up here, flip it on, and and go. So, but let's move on. All right. Well, I got my Yak Attack camera mount. I'm just now going to start using this up front. Uh, for some odd end shots and we're going to do a lot more fishing videos so i got this camera mount i normally keep one in the back back here uh, i just don't have it on there for right now but anyways got the camera out here you're gonna see a lot more fishing videos coming up guys um, with that as you notice i took my pedal drive out i still got it i keep it in the truck just in case my motor goes out or Say I want to go fish a Hobie event or fish an event that doesn't allow motors or whatever. I, I can still use my pedal drive system. Uh, moving on, got the cup, the Yaktac cup. With the cup caddy, you can check out the uh, uh, the link in the comments. I mean, in the description below uh, and, and get you one of these. I'm telling you, it's so simple, but yet, it, it, I don't know. It's just, it's really nice having. I can still use my drink uh holder put some tools in there too but i also always know where my scissors and all that stuff and you can still tether them i mean you got your little holes here to tether them i got my another pair of clippers here just in case um i keep all my you know some on end baits i was throwing for the day or trying or want to try i'll keep them right there on the side as you can see here this is also a catch-all too you know on baits i was throwing um but and then moving on got my garmin this is the 93 sv um it's been a great unit i mean they are pretty they're pretty nice uh just the pan optic stuff is such a game changer live scope uh i, I really like it. it it's a it's a great great setup um using it on the yak attack uh mount we got the yak attack uh, uh shoot what through hole kits um it, like I say anything on here guys you can find on our website we got it all on there uh we get a lot of questions about these i'm gonna put the link in the description i cannot remember the guy's name but he's on um uh facebook and he makes them he makes all these special um uh, mounts i know burley pro's got one out now but i like supporting the smaller companies and this guy he's been doing it for a while before burley pro and all them got into the handle so guys been doing it for a while he makes a great handle um like i said i still keep that on there just in case i need to use my pedal drive system uh i don't have uh on this seat i don't have it on here yet was our actual tray that goes here to, to slide more boxes in you can see a video that we did and james did where you, it's a little tray you can put 3700s or 3600s or whatever you want um i just keep a little box like this under there uh these little boxes you can get at walmart they're pretty cheap you can actually buy it in a kit which is like i don't know five or six boxes um and i just keep some of the plastics like that. a lot of that's my jig trailers um but yeah i like that and then i just keep my other little box right here like a little got all my hooks and weights and all that stuff in there and but that's i don't keep a lot on there I mean, most time that's where my food and stuff's gonna go so uh keep my net my yak tack net back here just right behind me so it's easy to grab i also have the aqua battery right there um runs my gopro i don't have it wired into this box yet which we're going to get in here in just a second uh, but i am going to wire it into that so i can run my gopro all day uh, then you got my cord here for my power pole uh, i got that hard wired in and the reason why i got my power pro, uh, power pole hold wi hard wired in is i've had a lot of issues with their uh battery system it, it, they either get corroded uh, i've put um the um contact uh stuff on there the little the gel or whatever it is i put that on there and i still have issues and if it starts dropping a little bit of voltage it doesn't push down on that as hard as it should so went with hard wiring it in and i'm gonna tell you what before we get in and show you that this box here i love the black pack the black pack is great especially when i'm on my bona fide i use the black pack a lot in here but I needed more storage for my batteries, for the motor, for my graph, um, and plus just, I just wanted a little bit more tackle storage. I mean, I come from a bass boat. I carry a lot of stuff. If you guys see me and James in the water, we have a lot of stuff. So, um, but here we go. 
cool thing about this craftsman box and see look this is another one of those boxes that came with it uh, like those kids i was telling you at walmart this is a lot of some of my swim bait stuff hooks uh all that for my swim baits move this up here um but i got dual bainos back here this is an 80 amp hour this right here is the 40 amp hour the 40 is running the power pole and the garmin live scope all that stuff this just runs my um xi3 now i don't run my graph and stuff off the same battery because i don't want interference you'll get interference with it if you run everything off the same battery i can tell you that now so um but like I say i got uh, a little my spinner bait bag in here uh i got two 3600 some crank baits uh some rattle traps cool thing about this box here is you get this little little neat box here i kind of use it with like my day box so like odd and end stuff i want to throw up here i got all my dies and uh fork for when i'm eating tuna out on the water or um spinner baits chatter baits you know, i just got a little bit of everything right here stuff I, I can get to really quick that i don't want to get wet you know it could be in the boat or, or anything like that or i just you know something i can turn around and grab really quick but um but also got you know other crank baits and some grubs top waters all this stuff was stuff i still had in there from chicken maga like i said but um but i've had a lot of people asking about this box in the back of the boat and and uh, but I, I'm telling you guys, since I've went to this, uh, I actually got this idea from Greg Blanchard uh, on his setup. On one, I think it was when he had it on his 10 or something. I don't know how old the video is, but I've seen it. Loved the idea. Thought it was super cool. Um, and I can get so much tackle, plus keep my batteries in there. And the way we did this, though, so you see these quick connect plugs. I got uh, quick connect plugs here, too, for my power pole. Got our fuse. Everything runs. I mean, the power pole. Oh, uh, shoot. The breaker for the XI3 right there is all run into this box here. Everything's sealed in here. Um, but what we did to make it simple, so I don't, if I really don't, I don't have to take this out of my boat. I can unplug it here. So this one's for the, uh, my graph and my power pole. I can unplug it and plug my charger into it because my charger has the same end. Plug my charger into it and leave this in there and charge. The same way with, um, my um trolling motor i got the same connector i can unplug it if i need to take it out real quick i can unplug it all here's my power pole plug too um, but i can unplug it all and take this whole thing out and everything is in one unit um, put it back in plug it all in ready to go um, the one thing i need to do and i have not done yet and i'm flirting with disaster just in case you do flip it um is i need to put some little slots in here for some hooks or put something on there to, to have some hooks uh, to hold this down because I don't have nothing on there yet for that. So, um, but yeah, that's the setup on this box. Uh, we'll go to the um, back here. And this is what I did. A little bit different here. I put some uh, nine inch mining mounts on right here and I put their rod holders. Now, th this setup is okay, but I think I'm gonna go with the uh, either Zuka tubes or something like that uh, for this setup instead, just because of the spinner reels being kind of sloppy. Um, but I mean, it is. I mean, it's a great setup. I like it. It's easy to take the rods out. Easy to put them back in here. Uh, I actually got room to put uh, a couple more right here if I want to. But I think, and you know, normally I'll keep another rod holder right here if it's something I want to put there. But I mean, I got six rods there. I could put another probably six inch mining mount there and put like one or two more rod holders. And I mean, this still opens up good. I got them leaned back enough that, I mean, you can still open it up. It clears my uh, power pole. So it uh, works perfect. I like it. Great setup. I set all this up when we was down there at Chickamauga and we was just trying to just we spent a day or two with working on our boats and getting things ready because we just ain't had time with business it's been been crazy so um but but we've had a lot of questions about this also this box too has wheels on it so if you want to take it out and roll it into your hotel room or your cabin or wherever you're staying at works perfect now the one thing you will have to do when you put this box in is your paddle holders you got to take them out uh, i did leave this one in right there but on the side of the wheels you got to take it out so what i did was take one end of my paddle because i really don't you don't really need it i got one end in my boat in the hole and then i got my other one right there it works out perfect you don't get in the way um it's no big deal you know so 
um it's worked out pretty good for me so far and we'll see how the year goes on and if i like it or want to change things up but and then i got my catch board here i just kind of slide that in right here um got my little cheapo fish grips right here um and then i also have my this is my um live scope transducer so if when i'm ready to use it actually i'll take these off i can slide this forward or whatever and i can mount it and i'm actually using one of our anchor pole holders with that through there and it just you know it keeps it right there on the side and um but i got the anchor pole holder on here uh, i got a paddle holder on here uh but i mean that's basically it i got my transducer for the regular just side imaging and all that i run that through here uh and down into uh, under the boat there like for the little mounting plate they have for that so but other than that guys i, I mean i don't have nothing too too crazy you know like when it comes to anything extra pretty much everything you see on this this boat is on our website or we make it or uh also got the native um wheels on here i'm not a, i mean they're okay i'm not a real big fan of them just for the fact that of coming into the boat ramp sometimes they're a pain in the neck to get right for me anyways um or just you know putting in and trying to pull them out and put them back in there while you're going out somewhere i mean for people that load them off of trucks and all that it's probably perfect and works great for you just not for me so um but the trailer uh bought these off of amazon me and james got these uh, james came up with the idea we added uh this is actually some exhaust pipe just to make it stick up a little bit taller and that way we can clear our seats you know and they're up because if you don't have that on this on there it's gonna sit so low that you're not gonna clear your seat and you probably won't even clear the graph on here i'm not i'm not sure on that one but so anyways we lifted it up a little bit higher and uh i mean like i say you can buy them on amazon for like 140 bucks i know the yakima ones are pretty expensive and you know some people might like the yakima ones better but for what we're doing this was uh these work out perfect so i'm just gonna paint these uh like a satin black and um just make them look better but i had to hurry up and get it going before uh, we went to uh chickamauga in tennessee so and then we just finished up the trailer here uh james has got some boxes on his trailer i might go with one box i'm not real sure yet i just right now I like keeping it kind of simple and not having a bunch of stuff on there so um but other than that i mean that, like I say i love this little setup I like this little trailer that's a way to do it i don't i do not like car topping uh, I know some people have to do it. If you got to do it, I get it. I understand. And, and throwing the back truck, I get it. I understand. But this way, for the most part, if you want to go down the road, you can slide this thing up in there, take your, your rods out and your power pole. And, uh, you know, you have your troll motor up and everything. Just tie it down and go. You know, not unless you're going to make a really long trip. But for the most part, I keep everything on here except my rods and uh, my power pole. And I tie it down and I get on going down the road and take my GoPros off, you know, so but other than that well guys i hope you liked the video i hope you uh like my setup if you got any questions about it you know feel free to comment down below we'll get we'll do our best to get to them as quickly as we can um like the box here like so we've had a lot of questions about it. it's just a craftsman got it from lowe's um just i don't know it just works out perfect when you're trying to put your batteries and all your tackle and all that and you carry much stuff like as much stuff as me and james do I had to have something that big there, there there's not nothing really on the market that's that big that you can that you can carry everything with so they make a couple different sizes in this box i think so you know depending on your boat and what you want to do um you know and how you want to rig it but uh to be able to put an 80 and a 40 or 80 and a 50 whichever way you want to go for all your electronics it's it's really awesome i like having it so um but other than that guys hope you liked the video Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share this video with your friends. And uh, as James always says, uh, hope to see you on the water. See you.